just a moment. Hey guys. Hey. Hope you guys can make it. Come on in. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sorry for the delay. You know how traffic can be. I hear ya. Can I get you guys anything to drink? Uh, water's fine. Yeah, see if you need to. It's your water as it is. So Lydia, how are you? I'm alright. That's good. And Timothy, it's so good to see you. Uh, likewise. So the traffic was bad, huh? Uh, of course it was. And uh, we actually both had a long day, so we're very grateful for the break. I'll bet. You guys are? Thank you, Arthur. Oh, Deborah, are you ready for next weekend? I guess. Is this the uh, glass menagerie? Yep. Are you nervous? Not really. It's just a matter of getting into the part. Luckily, Tennessee Williams makes it very easy to get to know his characters, but still a bit of an endurance trial with him. That intense? Pretty much. Oh, I think anything I look at now is intense. The uh, nature of acting? Of course. But what I mean is, you all know that I loved being on stage in grade school. And in a way, I, I still do. It's just that I wonder, I don't know. I just don't want to be someone who's crazy, who just happens to be an actress. You know what I mean? I think so. I mean, if it helps, I don't think you're crazy. Of course you would say that. And I know you mean it, too. I just, there's some days that I wish that there was a switch so where I could turn off my emotions. Sounds robotic. Mm -hmm. yeah, pretty crazy. Maybe. It would be nice. <laughs> so are you going to give up acting then? No, no, no. First off, I can't think of anything else that I'd rather be doing. And while I'd still like that switch, I really think I'm fine. I've learned that my emotions have their place and they don't have to be my entire life. You do a fine job, I think. Thanks. You and Lydia are coming? Yeah, Saturday matinee. Okay. Thanks. Well, I'm looking forward to it. You may disagree with me a little here, but there are definitely times where I could use some of those intense emotions. Mm, still thinking about the stats? Unfortunately, I'll be thinking about them for a while. The term paper? What else would it be? I mean, I don't mind well-articulated ideas, even if I disagree with them, but it's just this insistence on a particular one. It's like what passes for religion. No offense to present company. I know what you mean. Luckily. Though, I guess I would imagine true religion to be more forgiving than at the Temple of Academe. I mean, where I'm at is supposed to be this place of free thinking. It shouldn't matter how you see things, as long as you can present your ideas clearly. I mean, this should especially be true for the arts and humanities, right? Here we go. She's obviously heard this from me before. What can I say? It's your finest monologue. Thanks, Deb. At any rate, <clears throat> I believe art is experienced in two ways. The first is subjective, and that depends solely on the individual viewing the work. For instance, take one of your paintings. And by the way, I really like that last one you did. I look at your painting, and I can explain it using what I know about art, which probably isn't much. I may not be able to cite particular painters who influenced you in your work. However, I can note what I see based on the colors you used and the way that you chose to depict things. That's the subjective side of things. Then there's another way which is slightly more objective, but in order to do that, I have to take into account what is actually there, both in isolation and in context. So this has to go beyond my own personal experience and I actually have to consider the experience of others, both the commendations and the condemnations. Then what you have to do is you have to find the hidden subtext, you know, influence, subject matter, 
um, historical context, cultural values, and so on. And a good understanding of a work of art, and therefore critical analysis in the true sense of the word, has a subjective remain subjective, and the objective remain objective. Literary theory is what I'm dealing with right now. It's deceptive in the sense that you think it actually knows the difference between the two. Yet, it has a subjective remain objective, and the objective subjective. And then on top of that, it has the audacity to declare itself true critical analysis. For instance, I can't look at Tennessee Williams in any objective way. And despite the fact that he wrote some of the most compelling and sympathetic female characters, the man's a chauvinistic bitch because he was a man. Now, you have to have your head fully in the sand to believe that. And yet there are those who will tell you, it doesn't matter, the man was born with a penis and he should have known better. Now I enjoy serious academic study of literature, don't get me wrong, but what passes for it these days is a complete farce. I mean, using so-called literary theory, all you end up unearthing is fool's gold instead of real gold. Or, or cubic zirconium instead of diamond. And the sad thing is that this comical logic is not limited to just literature, or even to humanities. I mean, who knew that the hard sciences could be sexist? I'm sure, you know, and with biology it's easy to criticize something that has a penis when it actually has one. But sexism in chemistry? Or in physics? Jesus Christ! Sorry. <clears throat> I just, I wonder what ever happened to any bit of sin. I mean, is the academe run by patients in the asylum? And, and are most of those compulsive flashers and sex perverts? I just hate, I hate being told that there are penises everywhere. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> so, why stay where you are? <laughs> like I said, I enjoy studying literature. And maybe I can start a coup to drive out those intellectual teenagers. Plus, I look at Timothy over there, and the thought of having a real job it scares me. Even though, I'm sure it hasn't claimed your soul yet. Well, you know I wouldn't let that happen. Of course not. Oh, grow up. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I really am. <clears throat> Seriously, I, I understand your frustration. And I don't blame you. The director has some weird ideas of how I should play Amanda. Very weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I think I entertained you this time. Ever tried stand-up? No. I don't think I can do it. How about the internet? Fuck no. Not sure I want to take it. It be dirty. I'll just take it. And I'm sorry about what I said earlier. You're an adult. Thank you for the observation. You know, you still remind me of a mother hen. Even without kids of your own. Thank you for the observation. Okay. Now it's my turn to apologize. I've had a long day. Oh? Price of being a mother hen. It's my foster. <laughs> you know it's preferred to beer with some bit of cheer. Aren't you a sharp wit tonight? Should I be serious then? Just be supportive. Did I miss anything? Nothing of great importance. Oh, I've been meaning to ask you. When do services start? I wanted to go this weekend. Liturgy starts at 10. And you go to St. Catherine's? Correct. I think you'll like it. It's quite theatrical. I believe that. And if you have any questions, you can ask me. Oh, Tim. Thanks. So, um, so when do you take that great leap of faith? Next year before Pascha. Interested in matters divine now? I want to see this. It, it looks like it means a lot to you. I appreciate it. 
But don't go if you don't really want to. No, I do, and and I will. I, as long as Timothy is not the jealous type. Should I be? Oh, forget it. I guess I just remember you as a restless seeker. And now I'm ready to set down some roots. That's always what I've sought after. And I also believe now that there's more to things than what we can see in them. I guess. You may be right, but I'm certainly not there yet. Okay, then. Thank you. <coughs> Are you okay? <coughs> yeah, I just breathed it wrong. Don't kill yourself over there. Then by extension, I shouldn't be doing this, should I? So leave it then. I was joking. So do you have any paintings in the work? Nah, nothing yet. It's been so crazy at the office. I have little to no energy for painting. And then again, these things come and leave. Are you gonna try and sell any of them? I can try. Is there something you recognize? Maybe. Uh, it sounded familiar. Then again, music is sounding more and more the same each passing day. That could be. <laughs> then again, I think it's always been like that. Nothing new under the sun. How existential. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's not. Sorry we have to lose this soon, guys, but uh, thanks again. No problem. Have a good night. Good night. I hope you feel better. Thanks. Good night. Good night. Thank you for taking me home. Of course. And I'm sorry for ending the night so soon. No worries. Look, if it's something I said, uh, I'm sorry. It was, but thank you. Care to tell me what it was exactly? I don't remember. I should just remember that you're your own man. Meaning? You just do your own thing, and in your own way, no matter what. Is that a bad thing? It can be annoying some days, though not always. I'm sorry. I don't apologize. If I thought it was a problem, I wouldn't be here with you now. Thanks. Listen, I just I want you to know that I'm here for you. I mean for all of you. In the good times and bad. I know you are. Ba 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 
Mama, mama, mama.